Welcome to Hagenstead for a first look map tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. So here we are on a new mod map. We're on Hagenstead. This is a new one for me. Um, this was originally on Farming Simulator 13 and has now been converted over by Vanquish081. I've had a quick whiz round just to kind of orientate myself with what's going on. And I have to say, I know I say this a lot when I do my first look map tours, I like this map a lot. That said, I'm not going to be switching over onto it until after a week or so, in case of any glitches or problems. And there's a couple of things I've picked up on, which I don't know if it's supposed to be, but we will see. So, very quickly, let's get cracking. We find ourselves slap bang in the middle of the map at the home farm, if you want to call it that. This map is big. Really big. I'm hoping I can fit it all in. I have got a pickup so I can get around a bit quicker. But there's a lot going on. What I like about this one, there is something for everyone. There are big fields. There are very big fields. There are small fields and very small fields which is brilliant you can gradually build up you can pick up a lot of smaller ones and gradually build up to bigger ones there's a lot going on and what is also very interesting in this map is the road network is kind of isolated in that you've got kind of two almost separate road networks one north one south there are lots of dirt track roads that kind of link everything up but what i also love about this map and if you've watched any of my first look map tours before I love undulating terrain. I love height differences and boy has this got height differences. This is brilliant. The details on it, the, there is there is some cracking stuff. You'll see as we go around, it's going to be a whistle stop tour like it always is. I'm going to try and fit in all the main points, all the points of interest. There will be stuff I miss, absolutely there will. There are gold nuggets on this map. I haven't come across one yet, but I didn't when I did my West, West Bridge Hills map tour but there are on this map so looking at it like I say there's a lot going on we're going to kind of head north to the main town which is here and then in a kind of weird almost clockwise route round trying to take in a bit of everything then this top corner northwest will be what we do last so scrolling across price wise I've got this set on normal prices are on the low-ish side I think but there is something that will probably go with that hopefully we've got a bakery the barn freight yard garden center McLean biogas mill spinnery transport company and village grain elevator are all sell points looking at what we start with interestingly a lot of tractors uh, two Hurlymans two aggro stars and I like these I love the way they start up a Fent a Sampo Rose Newcomia C6 and header trailers or trailers a trailer and then we've got cultivator plow cedar uh, spreader fertilizer spreader and then various different weights the pickup you don't start with I've added that in just to make life a little bit easier so that's what we sort of start with. Ah, the other thing, oh, we'll get to that in a second. So, centre of the map, we are at our home farm. Very lovely, picturesque. I do like this. It kind of gives me the impression of that, I know it's kind of Germanic, kind of Austrian, very picturesque buildings. So anyway, very, very quickly, let's head over through the garden to the farm itself you start with one field field 16 it's not a big field reminds me a lot of when you start on Bjornholm with one small field with the Sampo Rosenlieu Comia so this is the field you start with field 16 heading north-ish into the farm itself another thing I like about this map tons and tons of barn space open barns closed barns rear closed off barn I mean, you name it it's on here or say barns shelters whatever you want to call them shelters and like I say there's one there one there one here one here 
one here, massive one here, plenty of shelter space. We have a barn for all your bale selling needs, hay, straw, etc, etc. And our lineup of vehicles and equipment. One of the Hurleymans is off somewhere else on the map. But these are what we start with. I'm going to go and jump in the pickup. Mr. Silly P. Green, apparently. So, very, very quickly around the yard. Lots of open space. We've got a fuel tank. We've got our chicken coop, just here. And we have our silo. We have our unload point and our reload point either side. This has got a 100,000 litre capacity, that is per crop. Um, which, because there's plenty of space around this, if you want to use the um, placeables and add more silos, you've got tons of room to do it. So you can increase that capacity to whatever you should choose to. Now, as I've said, there are a lot, a lot of fields on this map, all different shapes and sizes. What we are going to do is head left, first of all, and then down into the main town. Now I'm going to try and keep the sort of view distance a little way out from the pickup just so you can sort of see the scenery as you go along. There we have a forest on the left hand side here, that's the first of two that I've come across. But there are, there are plenty of trees on this map for cutting down. So we come into the town just north of Central and we've got our main machinery store. The kind of standard configuration we've seen, but I do like the fact there's lots of bushes all around it and you know, there's, a, there's enough touches on this that make it really stand out. And there are some on here that just aren't on any of the other maps, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So we've got our usual cash point, customization point, buying and selling from inside should you choose to. And if we carry on heading eastwards now, without running everyone over, through the town. We've got a fuel station, gas station, petrol station, wherever you're from, that should cover most of the bases. And we go through the very picturesque little town. Dirt streets and like I said, we're already heading down again. There is an Excel point over to the left through the buildings, just through there somewhere. Lots to explore, like I say, I can't I'm not gonna be able to do everything. So we are heading east now on the map. So we're kind of central and heading east. Let's have a quick look there. Just north of central. And like I say, we've got a relatively medium-sized-ish, smallish field there with a big one then to the side of it. There's a real mixture. So heading north, we come to McLean Biogas. And if you've played this before, biogas plants a biogas plant. Plenty of entrance and exit points on this one. But we've got our usual bunker silos. Cell point. Anaerobic digester, digestate tank. And then we've got our digestate, digestate tank here for all the slurry to go into when you sell your silage. Coming back out the top. And out of this side of the biogas plant, still heading eastward. See what I mean about the terrain? There's sort of cliff sides and hills and valleys, and I, I, I love it. I really do like this map. We come across the first of our cell points we're going to come across, and this is the bakery. So, just very, very quickly, we are now north east ish corner up the top here and we are at the bakery we've just done clean bio biogas we're at the bakery like i say we're going to sort of head up here and then we're going to do a clockwise route round so away from the cell point of the bakery and we come to the campsites and running across the north of the map there's a river there is a smaller one that runs across across kind of the south, southern part of the map um, nice wide river here that runs right the way across the top of the map and we will come across that again later on make 
sure I go the right way. Like I say, plenty of pine trees around for logging and that kind of thing. We've already passed one of the sort of logging areas, forest areas, and they've got another one here on the northeast side of the map. So some of these tracks are just amazing. But just up here, we've got another forest. Take this track out. Hopefully it'll take me where I want to go. Perfect. I say perfect. If that tree wasn't there. I love this feature. Got this rope bridge going across. Great views out. It's just brilliant. It really is. Absolutely brilliant. So we are now heading south on the eastern side of the map and like I say lots of fields lots of kind of tiers to this map um, with all the different cliff faces and elevation changes with various different field sizes dotted around lovely features with different buildings like little chateau castle type things right so we've got a river running across here I think there, there is one further south as well. And as you go around this map, there is loads and loads of shelter storage for vehicles. I mean, dotted around all over the place, and some really big ones as well. So, would I say this is a big bud map? Probably not, not as you would normally consider a big bud map. You could probably get away with it. Um, but definitely some bigger tractors you can get away with, but because of the small fields as well, smaller tractors. We are at the golf course, heading now down to the southeast corner. We've got a golf course on the map. That's an interesting one. I don't recall coming across a golf course before. And if we head right down into the very southeast corner of the map, We come to the pig farm. Pig pen, pig enclosure, whatever you want to call it. Again, great amount of shelter for st uh, vehicles. For, like, shelter vehicles? Vehicle shelters would be the word I'm looking for. Um, and we have our feed and water troughs. We've got our slurry pit. We've got our manure pit. And then we've got our buy sell point just here. Now I'm not sure we had this on uh, Westbridge Hills where the bedding goes in, where the straw goes in. Now I'm assuming hmm so I'm not sure. Oh, it could be here actually. Got this little bit. Ah oh, yeah probably here. I'd imagine this section here it's where the bedding goes in, and then your feed and water troughs. Right, brilliant. So that's pigs. I apologise if it seems like I'm rushing. But realistically, I could have done this map tour in two parts. Easily in two parts. It is that big. So we are now heading westward across the bottom of the map. And we find ourselves going through another set of kind of undulating terrain. I've taken the wrong turn. But anyway, it gives you a nice view of where I was kind of heading. I'll be down there in just a second. So, down where I was supposed to be. We come to our cows. Cow pasture is just here. Again, we have got... Our buy and sell point for all things cow related. We have got a water trough, we have got a slurry tank, we have got a feed trough, and then round here manure, grass, well another feed trough, well that's, what, that's water grass over the other side, um, and then we've got our bunker silo for silage so we can prepare everything 
there's plenty of space around all of these areas so for putting stacks of bales and all that kind of stuff there's plenty of room if you wanted to put another shelter I mean there's one over there and you want to put all of your straw and hay and uh, stuff loose you could do it loose it really is entirely up to you so heading north ish we come to a gap here we'll have a quick look on the main map so we are down here bottom part of the map but we are heading north ish okay we'll see in a little bit and see where we're heading to we're going to head out towards the garden centre, then back towards the spinnery, and then out towards the mill is where we're going to be going. So the river running across, lots of nice big wide bridges, plenty of room. Now at the main farm, there's fuel and there's water, but there's no seed refill points. So the garden centre here, you've got seed refill, but you might want to put place balls in the main farm. It's probably something I would look at doing. Now, garden centre cell point, I think that cell point is just, as far as I'm aware, just for, for the garden centre, one, two, three, fourth down, is only for wood chips. Garden centre, wood chips. You've got three cell points of wood chips, which is unusual. So I think that's that there is a cell point for wood chips. So, away from the garden centre and heading out towards the spinnery. Another fuel point. More vehicle shelters. If I can remember where it was, there we go. There's your cell point for your wool at the spinnery big building. A lot of these are big buildings. So, carrying on westward. And there are fields, on all these little valleys there are little fields dotted about and there are railway tracks and yeah, it's great. This building is colossal. I mean, absolutely huge. But, the cell point is just through here. And that's really all there is here at this pit, just the cell point. It, it is massive building, but fantastic. So, I think I'm going to head... I'm trying to think, actually, which way I was going to go. Nope, I wasn't to go this way. So the map's so big, I'm trying to remember which route I was going to take. It is huge. Anyway, so past the mill. There you go, Hagenstadt Mill, Hagenstead Mill. come over another valley or over another brow into another valley more big fields dotted around and we are now at the southwestern side of the map and that's what I like about this you've got some huge fields and then right next door 38 quite I say quite small a smaller one and then you've got some really tiny ones it, it's a real mixture of everything so heading up the western side of the map, western-ish, we head towards our sheep. Again, plenty of vehicle shelters and drive-through ones, which I love. It makes life so much easier with those long vehicles. Here's the other Hurleyman, but we have got our feed trough, and I believe around here our water trough and our buy sell point which is just here now this is what I was talking about at the start about waiting to see if there are any updates or anything like that I'm not sure where the wall pallets appear now it could be me being really blind it could be inside this huge building here but I haven't I can't seem to see and again this could just be me a kind of hazard taped area where the wall pallets might appear. Um, I suppose the only way to find out would be to get some sheep and see where the pallet first appears from, but I can't seem to see one at the moment. It must be around here somewhere. But anyway, this is for your sheep. Back to this main screen again. 
and we are now over here the southwestern side of the map and we are heading north again and this is what I'm talking about these lovely features you got that little track there this is lovely kind of I don't know just house but it's it's just so ornate and fantastic but serves no real purpose other than just it's there part of the landscape it's absolutely fantastic little walkway I suppose for wherever the nuggets might be hidden around the map so I'm just gonna head across the side of this field uh, no, no this one the next one so off to our left again another big drop off down to another valley that we'll get to in a little while that's the freight yard which we will get to now we're coming back across on our right hand side is the main farm where we started off and this is the woodland forest that we kind of looked at at the very start we've done our loop round clockwise and done down the uh, eastern side of the map across the southern part and then up to kind of the western side the only way to get to the next part is to go back through the main town um, there's not another road that takes you off because it's all kind of cliff edge oh my driving is appalling at the moment so through the edge of the town or round the edge of the town and we come down into yet another fantastic open area more fields more hillsides more cliff faces the river bank if I go off to the right there and just round that little kind of headland is the biogas plant again more vehicle shelters no shortage of vehicle shelters at all and we come to the next sell point which is the village grain store which is just here and a filling station as well which is always handy we're heading westward again and we are on the northern part of the map on our right hand side the river that runs across the north there's a little island there with a lovely stone bridge again nothing really over there caravan that's it and you come to this field I mean it's, it is huge there is something for everyone on this map Now this is where it gets interesting. We are now up at the transport company. I've got to stop going over the curbs. But before we do any of that, we have got a livestock market. It's not an Emerson's, but it is a livestock market. Coming to the big marked out area. And our buying and selling of all of our animals can be done here with a trailer. Or without, it's entirely up to you. But that's the livestock market quick look on the map we are now at the top here at the transport company so livestock market the river runs right the way across that little island I was just talking about and sweeps around it's kind of like a little mini port really and you've got some train tracks here as well we have got our sell point here If I come around the corner here, we've got a sell point for, I believe, lumber. Because when you look at the train, the train is like the one you used to get on Sosnov Sosnovka with lumber on the back. So I'm assuming this is a lumber sell point. But what you've also got in here again, you can send the train. So once you've done a load of lumber here, sell the train you kind of get a bit of a double whammy for your logs for your lumber you'll get paid once here and then you'll get paid again once it gets to its destination that's usually how it works so a sell point for crops also a sell point for lumber where you can send the train off so we are now heading to our final destination on this whistle stop tour around Hagenstead this car's going to pull right in front of me of course he is there's lots of driving on this map because it's not a looped road network it seems like you've got to go a lot further to do anything but I think that makes it more interesting so finally we come to the freight yard 
again a huge huge building complex another big field tucked out here and a small one just over there two small ones just over there now this is my second of my concerns shall we say um, we've got a fuel point here and we also do have the option here as well to send the train just here which is all very lovely now I came over with a tractor and a trailer earlier and it could just be me I might have had the wrong thing I'm not entirely sure but there's no sort of delineated marked out cell point that I could come across when I brought the trailer up when I got to about here roughly in line with the, the engine the unload symbol came up now I had wheat in the back and it said wheat is not accepted which baffled me slightly because both of the train cars have got kind of that the wheat kind of symbol on them so unless I was just trying the wrong crop which I, I'm not sure like I say this could be one of those things that gets rectified in a patch uh, an update I'm, I'm really not too sure um, but I was just a bit concerned it might be a case of trying a different crop and something will work and something won't I really don't know but this is another train you can send off so once you've loaded it uh, off it goes and you'll get paid so that's it we are at the freight yard our final destination on the whistle stop tour around Hagenstead I will just go back to the main map it is big really big like I say you start off with 16 tiny 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 one right in the middle here 15 not much bigger but you've got some nice size ones 14 17 moving up 10 37 down here then you've got your fields like seven which are getting bigger four's bigger well bigger I suppose 10 and four probably the same sort of size then you've got fields like one and 40 some real big ones 39's not small down the bottom so a real mixture and spread out all over the place um, I like this map I, I really really I know I say it a lot I really do but I really really have enjoyed going around this map I like the terrain I like the features I like the landscape I like the mixture of field sizes um, it's a cracking layout really really is a great map there may be a couple of small issues I don't know if there are or not um, that may just be me being blind or missing something and there may well be an update that comes out in the next week or so as people start to play on it I know it's been out on PC for a little while I believe already um, but another map for consoles for PS4 which is what I'm playing on I hope this has been useful I hope it's been interesting informative if you've liked it and you have found it useful and informative give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching